what's good youtube everybody else dogs mammals cats ladies gentlemen all that good shit in between it's your boy flock man coming at you and it's three of us you got three kings repping right now got the e3 just passed all of that good stuff going on let everybody do their introductions and we'll get right into it all right what's going on out there youtube this your boy Mert coming to y'all in this uh new podcast you know uh i've been doing this for a while you know just going and hit me up you know i i post destiny videos there now and then so i don't know i just do what i do what up y'all already know who this is i don't really need no introduction um is the only calling this a podcast yet we're gonna call it that uh Ah, uh, we don't know yet, man. We'll see. We'll you know, see we we working men, so you know. <laughs> yeah, always be kind of weird. So right, <laughs> swig of water for the working man. Swig of water for the working. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, y'all already know this is your boy Tick, man. Game fanatic, phone ringing in the background. That's how I like to do it, man. I like mm -hmm. that. It wasn't me though. That wasn't me who did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. All right, man. And oh, this, y'all know what this is, man. If you watch it on my channel, if you watch it on Tick's channel, it's all the same, man. It's flock here. And uh, like I said, E3 was done on Wednesday. We took a little time, man, to kind of like let everything fester, let everything register. Didn't want to rush nothing out. Made sure everybody got a good look at everything before we, you know, brought some stuff out here to y'all. So we gonna give y'all our take on everything that and, happened. And 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 we are gonna be straight up honest. It was my fault because uh, uh <laughs> we just wanted to do this fight. <laughs> we just was done this about a few days ago, and I was like, yeah, you know, I was bullshitting a little bit. So yeah, it was it was my fault. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> he, he said it. I didn't have to. So, but for those y'all that follow us on Twitter, y'all knew something was going on because we was we was we was at it for a little bit, but. Anywho, y'all know the main culprits, man, of the whole E3 things, Microsoft, Sony, and uh Nintendo. Oh boy. But Nintendo. Before, we get, uh. <laughs> before we get into <laughs> before we get into all that, we're gonna start off with each individual uh developers conference. we we'll, you know we'll go into Bethesda, you had Rare, you had Ubisoft, and you had EA, if I'm not mistaken, and Square, Square Enix. We'll start off with uh Bethesda. The notable games that they had were Doom, Dishonor 2. And Fallout 4. We'll start off with Doom. Merc, what's your, what's your take on Doom? Doom, it looked real good. Like I I enjoy I enjoy uh what I seen. A lot of gore, a lot of body parts blowing <laughs> blowing everywhere. <laughs> uh with this with that Superman punch, all that man. It, it it looked good. It's gonna be something that I, I definitely make sure I check out. All right, take what you got. Man, I thought that joint looked crazy. Um, had Doom 2 back in the day. You know, Doom 2 had it on my Windows uh, 2000 back in the day, y'all. What y'all know about that? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, so I've been looking forward to Doom. You know, you know it, you know, they, they, they normally stress them graphics. So you remember when we saw Doom 3 back in, like, 2002, whatever it was? And I remember seeing those graphics, and I was like, yo, that can't be real. And to this day, those graphics still, they age pretty good. So, you know, uh -huh. they, they always pushing graphics. And I was sitting there looking at the, the graphics on this one like, yo, that can't be how the graphics going to look. This got to be CG. Whole time, it more than likely is real gameplay. So, I'm down for that. Um, I like, just like Merck said, I like the gore. You know, I'm all about bloody limbs getting shot off and all that. I love stuff like that. So, I'm definitely down for that one. So, okay well my personal opinion on it it looked good i must say that it did look good but all in all i didn't need to watch 20 minutes of it to to see because after watching 20 minutes of it, it was like i was watching the same thing for 20 minutes it was like I, those melee kills were, were on point but after i saw it four or five different times i was like okay that's enough all right i was i was good but you know we'll see because i don't know the exact release date of most of these games that they were coming out with because I tried to cram all these games, man, into like a two or three hour session. So pardon me if I don't know the exact release dates, but we'll worry about that later. All in all, I think it looked good though. It was one of the better games that I saw. All right, we'll move on to Dishonored 2. I'll start off with that one. Dishonored 2, I don't really have that much of an opinion because I never played Dishonored. So, I mean, it looked okay, but that's one of those games where I'm gonna feel like, uh, I I'll wait to see somebody else do a let's play on it. I don't plan on buying it because that's just not something I'm into. So, what you think about it, Tick? 
I literally just bought the game. <laughs> like literally just bought it on the Steam sale. So I hmm. never played it either. I watched uh, J JG play it a few times when he was streaming. I watched a, a Let's Play that I used to like watching, play it a little bit. So I kind of have an idea what the game is about. It stresses more on the stealth stealth ability. Like you have like these crazy powers that you can do. Um, and it stresses a lot on stealth. I mean, you can go through the game by causing havoc, but it makes the game harder when you do it that way. If you go through stealth, you know, it's, it's a lot easier. So it's got a cool concept to it. The whole stealth thing, though, I'm not really good with stealth in first person. So that's my only issue with the game. Um, but like I said, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to piss me off. <laughs> but that's what probably still a good game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, with me, I'm not a fan of, of stealth games because you know, <laughs> uh, like I when I first seen it, it did look look nice. Except I I just never tried it because I, I'm I'm not really not good at stealth games. Like I, I just get impatient. <laughs> True, no so, doubt. Oh no, man! Like I mean, it looks good, but I don't know. Stealth games are really not my my uh, cup of tea. So. Hmm. So that's a big uh, that's a big question mark on that one because none of I mean, two out of three people don't like stealth games. So, I we I, we can definitely okay we can move on then we can move on to Fallout Four. Let's just before we even get into it, all the hype around this game like people were fucking wetting the bed over this game. Yo, like, am I the only one that never played a Fallout game? I mean, nope. I, no. okay, <laughs> Me I've never played I've never played a Fallout game. I watched it. And I actually watched it again just to get something different out of it. And I can see why some people like it. I don't see why people are cr going crazy about it, but it does look like it. I mean, if you had all the time in the world, this game is for you. Because to me, it looked like it can be extremely boring after a while. But I'm not hating on the game. Don't get me wrong. Nobody get mad. Say, oh, you just don't like the only thing you play is 2K. It's, that's which is BS because I play. A, I got a ton of games. I just y'all just don't see me playing them. That's all. Just I just don't. I don't know. I just I think it's gonna be a good game. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be game of the year or nothing like that. But I just I just never been into Fallout, so it's hard for me to get all enthused and excited about it. But I don't get excited about games anyway. But still, I don't get in, I don't get excited about it. What you think, Merc? Uh. I, I I tried to get into Fallout because I like I was watching like people uh, do walkthroughs and stuff. I uh, I just I just couldn't get into it, man. Like it, they just, I guess it's just not my genre, but it's people who love that game. So I, I really can't say anything about Fallout because I mean I tried to do like do walk like watch walkthroughs, but I, I just couldn't get into it. All right, cool. Well, on that note, I mean, what what would you grade? But that I was, didn't even uh, see that. Oh God, oh, at least uh, they forgot oh, the yeah. brother right here. I didn't forget you, man. I, I, figured, I figured we was done with it. Jesus. My bad. I didn't even get to say nothing. I ain't my get the hate on the game. Y'all got the hate on the game, and I ain't get the hate on it. <laughs> my bad, man. Nah, you know I like the hate on stuff. But anyway, um, I don't, you know I never played any of them. I know the kind of the history of, about it a little bit. I don't know like the story or anything, but I know like where it came from. It was like a top-down kind of game back in the day. Then when three came out, they turned into like a FPS RPG or whatever. And I, I watched, like Mercury said, I watched some Let's Plays of it. I watched my little nephew play it. He used to have it and played it all the time. And I talked to some guys at my job. You know, they were going nuts about it too. Like, oh, Fallout 4 looks amazing. I can't wait. It's the greatest thing ever. And I'm like, okay. Like, I don't know why. Um, but he mentioned that Fallout 3 takes an incredibly long time to beat. Uh, that's what he told me. And he said, I mean, he told me like, I think some months or something to beat it. That's um, crazy. And then, uh, I don't know, I guess they just like the whole RPG aspect, but to me, I don't really like first-person shooters and RPGs. Like, I, I don't think they match. They don't. That's a good mix, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I don't it's either. a good mix yeah. whatsoever. And the only cool thing I saw about it was that like, you can go into this little slow-motion ability where you can shoot at a certain body part. And you know, yeah. people shooting heads, making them explode. Yeah. Get a hit, yeah. They give you like the hit points on it and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah, that was pretty cool. But that will get boring and tedious to me after a while. So even that will probably, you know, not do where you know wouldn't keep me engaged in the game right there. Also, so 
So basically, you saying this is gonna turn into rise on the wrong. It's gonna turn to Shadow of Mordor because that's how that game was to me. Like I still haven't beaten that game. Yeah, yeah, me neither. Like Don't I, feel bad. I'm on the last mission. All I gotta do is just like do a few more missions and I beat the game. But I just got bored of it. Didn't want to play because. I don't know. Fuck it. Just go. To, just go. <laughs> all, right. all right. So all in all, man, what's your what, what would you grade? What would you grade? Uh, Bethesda's conference. Uh, Merc. Uh, since they really don't have games that you know, there's not for me. I would say maybe a uh, uh, but I see a lot of people there. They're excited for the game, so I guess I would have to give it maybe like a C plus or a low B. Okay, take what you got. Don't Bethesda have uh, the Dark Souls games? I don't know. What you give them? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they will get a a C from me. Unless, I, oh no, no, they had Doom and Dishonored, so I give them like a C plus. All right, I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give them a B minus only because I'm not all that familiar with them. And 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 Doom was pretty good. Fallout did look okay. And but the fact that I'm just not really that into it, I can't give them anything higher. And I, it was only three games worth mentioning with them. So, so on that note, we gonna move on. Uh, we'll go to Rare. Now uh, the one thing that Rare showcased, they had that 30 year collection. They called it uh, what they call it, Rare uh, Replay. Yeah. And yeah. some of the notable games they had in there that I did see was uh, Perfect, yeah, Perfect Dark, RC Pro Am, Battletoads, Viva Pinata. Those was like the four games that I really recognize. Yeah. A lot of the other stuff I don't really care. Y'all know Viva Pinata, Viva is Pinata my game, bro. Right? Y'all know Viva Pinata. <laughs> is my game. Y'all know Viva Pinata is my game, you man. You sit there playing, <laughs> you playing with your little elbows with your feet crossed. You're playing with your toes. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I ain't scared to say it. Viva Pinata is a guilty pleasure game of mine, man. We all got them. Oh. We all got them. That's all right. All right, Tick, I got you. Okay. I ain't going to tell, tell nobody you was on a 3DS playing Cooking Mama. I ain't going to oh. tell nobody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my nah, Pokemon. But, so, but but like, uh, out of all those games, you know what's crazy though? Out of all those games they show, I didn't see, I didn't see. Um, what the hell is the fucking game? The fighting game. Oh, Killer Instinct? Killer Instinct, yeah. I, I went blank. I'm looking right now. I'm trying to see if I see it. I did not see Killer Instinct. I seen a cameo. I seen some other stuff. I did not see Killer Instinct. It Why might, is that rare? It might be maybe because uh, they don't own the rights anymore to Killer Instinct because it, it went over to, um, I forgot what they're called now, but the guys with the Xbox, like first Rare or the people that were with Rare created, now they gave it to somebody else and now they own but the shouldn't they have Shouldn't they have been able to do that though since it was an older one? They could have done the first one. We're not talking about the new stuff. So they own all of it. It's not just the not just the few the present and future right so they gave up everything why know. would they even come out with that i don't know so we just gonna we just gonna move on from that because uh it, it's it's questions that i need answers so we'll move on over i just i'm not even gonna get them a grade because it was just one game that they showed right. with a bunch of games on it so we'll move on to tick's favorite company ubisoft <laughs> <laughs> oh, so ubisoft yeah, some of their noticeable <laughs> games, they notable games rather with uh the division, Rainbow Six Siege, Assassin's Creed, Syndicate, <laughs> South Park, and Ghost Recon Wildlands. Ah, Tick. Do do you, bro? <laughs> oh, man, Go you ahead. gotta throw me the game first, man. Man, you start from wherever. The division. We'll start with the division. Oh man, the downgrade. <laughs> oh, Hey, um, the division though. Hey, it looked all right though. You know what it looks like? You remember how when we saw Rainbow Six Patriots uh, back in 2011? It looked like they kind of took a lot of the stuff from that and put it over to the division. So that's cool, even though it's in third person. I'd rather be first person though. But um, the game, the, the gameplay looked cool. The graphics were definitely downgraded, but that's Ubisoft. You know, they're known for bullshit like that. So. <laughs> oh man. All right, all right, Merc, what you got on on uh, the division? Man, it it looks good because you know I, I I love third person games and man, it, it it's it's one of those games that's gonna be in my library because I like when I seen the guy uh betray everybody and he stole their stuff, I was like, oh yeah, this this gonna be a game for me. Like that online, 
I mean, I really don't care about, you know, that it's downgraded. So, I mean, it's going to be something that I play, what and I'm going to give it a good try. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, with the division, I'm going to be honest, man. I need a third person. I need a third person co op shooter, yo. I really do, man. Yep. I need that, man. I'm leaving this podcast. It's the last time I'm going to hit me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, man, we need that, man, because not everybody is, is is first person heavy, yo. We need that alternative, man. We need that, and I'm 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 just uh, I I'm, I just I think it's gonna be a good game. It's just yeah, I think it's gonna be good. Waiting on that game to come out, yo. It's like waiting on the Detox album though, because they showed that last year, <laughs> and, and, and it's showing it's showing not to come out until March of 2016, yo. That's the yeah. biggest disappointment yo, I'm be on that. Thirty, one. come on, man. They gotta yeah. wait till a brother turn thirty for the game to come out. Jesus, man. Just... Really, really. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. <laughs> Getting old. Yeah, uh, to the club, bro. Uh, yep. The Dirty Thirty Club. It's, it'll be all right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we'll move on. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege, Merc. What you got on Rainbow Six? Rainbow Six. Uh, it, it, I'm not gonna get it because I don't know. To me, it's, it's uh, to me it is looks like it's gonna be repetitive, like uh, like it re- evolve. That's oh, what God. I'm thinking it's gonna be. <laughs> I'm thinking it's gonna be like that because <laughs> it be not want to get in there. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> it just so, don't look like so we not gonna we not gonna be playing this on the PS4. That's what you say. Uh, not me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before, I mean, I might right. give it a try, but uh. so we before we get with Tick, I mean, <laughs> on this, I just want to say that if they spend all this money on getting Angela Bassett to do uh, acting on this game, I would I would want to think the optimism in me would want to think that this game would be good. Because they, I know they spent a pretty penny to have her, her act on this game, yo. The game looked good, though. It looked good, but kind of like the piggyback off work, what Merck said, it, I did see some stuff where it can it can lead to some real live repetitiveness. And I saw, I think I watched Tick uh, stream the beta, and you know, I asked Tick's opinion on it. He just said, "Man, it was straight. It looked, it was, it was all right. It was all right." And but that's, I didn't get much else other than it was all right. It was all right. So I'm on the fence on this one. So I just keep moving and let Tick you do you, bro. <laughs> take a deep breath. <sighs> all right. First things first. Let's start off with Rainbow Six Siege. Okay. First of all, we need to put out a petition to get this game canceled. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> need to get it canceled cool. until we get a real Rainbow Six that is like Vegas or all the other ones. I don't care. As long as it's not Siege. Um, the game, like I said, when I told him it was alright, it's literally alright that's all I can say about it um, it gets very repetitive uh, it's the same thing and, and there's, that's my phone ringing um, it gets very repetitive um, pretty much is the game mode is, okay there's a terrorist, they have a hostage or two hostages go find them as a terrorist you gotta protect the hostages from getting caught by, you know, getting released so you just barricade and camp near the hostage, pretty much. That's how the game works. Um, the the gunplay was it was easy. Uh, it was barely no recoil at all. It was slow. It, it just it, it just felt it, it felt repetitive. It didn't feel like a Rainbow Six game to me. It, it was just it was just bad. And I see people putting out you know petitions for you know uh, H Hour and they're trying to get like a remastered SOCOM. How about we do oh, that yeah. for Rainbow Six? Can we do a Rainbow Six Vegas Two remastered? Petition. Somebody um, gonna make that. I'll sign it. I'll do I mean, I think when I think I think when they when I think they did announce when you get that game, they giving you Rainbow Six, uh, Vegas, and some other Rainbow Six game with that game. Already I think I did. I think that I think they did announce that. But so for those who don't know, Tick is like a huge Rainbow Six fan. So you know, part of his passion for how you know how he thinks this game is it going to succeed Garbage. and tick tick loves his recoil so <laughs> so if you don't have, if you got a shooter that doesn't have recoil he's going to be uh he's going to be a little perturbed about it so and yeah. i said my part on it so tick you finish we can move on to the next game move on to the next game nothing more to say about the petitioner <laughs> all right all right assassin's creed syndicate i'm gonna just start off by saying this <laughs> i'm done yeah. <laughs> I don't want I don't want anything Dead. to do with Assassin's Creed. I'm sorry. I'm tired of it. 
Yeah. Anything after Assassin's Creed 2 was uh, is a waste to me. I feel the same way. It's probably gonna run at like 12 frames per second, like at launch anyway. So <laughs> mm. Ubisoft don't care. Long, yep. They know you're gonna buy it anyway, so they don't care. All right, what's your take, Merc? Dude, now I'm I'm not even trying to touch it because um, I played a little bit of Assassin's Creed on my Xbox One, but I ain't got it because you know they gave they give you two of them for free, right? And it, the frame rates are terrible, and like I you know I don't really care about graphics too much, but frame rate that's the one thing I care about, and that jump is terrible. Hold on, did he just say he don't care about graphics too? Yeah, I know, right? Because I'm a graphics whore. I find Dang. that highly offensive. How dare you call yourself a gamer, man? Um, you don't care about hey, graphics. How hey, dare you? Hey, I can, I, I got Minecraft right <laughs> now. Just, so, <laughs> so come on, if I can play Minecraft, I can play anything. I mean, I used oh, to play man. RuneScape, but I'm just saying, though, man. Like, triple, All right, so we, 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 done, we, play we done with Assassin's Creed, fun, yo. Yeah, we done with Assassin's Creed. We we gonna keep this moving, yo, because Assassin's Creed. I, I I didn't even want to bring that up, but I know a lot of people would be like, "Oh, you didn't say Assassin's Creed." So South Park. I don't know the name of the actual game, but South Park got a new game coming out, and apparently the plot is instead of them being like wizards and warriors, they're gonna be like superheroes now. So uh, what you what you what's your take on this one, uh, Tick? I still haven't played the first one yet, but I think I'm gonna buy it because it is on sale for Steam. Um, or I'll just buy it in other alleged places for cheap. But um, I might try it out. When I used to watch uh, people play it, I thought it was funny. So uh, it kind of reminded me, it looked like when you were playing the game, it was kind of like you were playing an episode of South Park. So that's how good the story and stuff was, was put together. It was really like you were playing like an episode. So I'm, okay. I'm, I'm guessing this is gonna be no different. It's gonna be a lot of that funny, uh, disgusting and, and toilet um, humor, yeah, toilet, toilet humor, humor, body yeah. mouth, all that, all that stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be all that good stuff in there, of course. Um, with probably some good gameplay because the gameplay really wasn't even bad, so it was a good game. All right, uh, I'm gonna just say it like this I'm, I'm not a huge fan of South Park, I've never played a South Park game, so. I don't have any expect expectations of the game, nor do I plan on buying the game. So, on that note, Merc, there you go. <laughs> uh, I used to watch South Park in the day, and I have not played South Park because, you know, my son, he loves to be around me and watch me play games, and I cannot play South Park. <laughs> True. Same here. There was some scenes in the game that was, you know, I remember one part. Uh, somebody mom was getting banged out in the background the whole time during one of the parts of the game. So, yeah, uh, and, and then that was swinging across from, I mean, across the screen. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so, I can. All right. Well, on that note, we're going to move to the last game in the Ubisoft uh, library here, and that's Ghost Recon Wildlands. And, uh, well, hell, I'll start off on this one. I think the game probably looked the best out of. All the games that they showed. That's just now. Minus, I mean, <laughs> for now, that's until they dumb down the graphics and all that other stuff. But right. you know they were showing it on PC, so right. I don't know why people acting like they they don't know that they were showing it on the PC. But the game did look incredible, though. I'm not gonna lie. And when I saw it, I'm like, Ooh, what is this? I couldn't figure out what it was. I'm like, oh damn, Ghost Recon, yo, that's you know, it looked pretty smooth, man. It looked pretty good. But once again, who knows when it's gonna actually be released? and you know what the finished pro product is going to be like and i'm looking to my left at a game that kind of you know <laughs> defied those odds and that's Watch Dogs. i'm looking at it to my left right now it's like just sitting in the bottom of my stack of games <laughs> so hopefully it'll turn out to another Watch Dogs, man the whole ubisoft in general man they they got a bad track record with stuff like that so what you think about ghost recon Mert? uh it, it looks pretty good i'm gonna give it a try but I still, you know, I'm probably going to game fly it because I don't trust Ubisoft like usual, you know, how they do. And pretty much Ubisoft kind of, I don't play Ubisoft games on PC because of you play and <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't mess with them. So, <laughs> push it. <laughs> it's garbage, yo. But, um, yeah, it's garbage. Tick, what you got? Man, I thought the game looked good when I first initially saw it. And I literally just saw it today, too. That's the funny part. Um, 
it looked like Rainbow. No, it didn't look like Rainbow. It looked like Spinner Cell. When I first saw it, I was like, what's this, Splinter Cell or something like that? It looked just like Spinner Cell, which is another Ubisoft title, so of course it would look like it. Um, mm-hmm. It didn't look like your traditional Ghost Recon, because they were walking up behind people, snapping their neck, slicing their neck and stuff like right. that, which you never did in the, in, the, in the other ones. So that was pretty cool. The graphics were amazing looking. But that let me know right there it was on the PC because one of first of all the graphics were good and it was running at a pretty good frame rate. And I know them cars are going to do that. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be straight up honest. Um, but I know for sure in 2017 or whatever we're gonna see that the graphics are gonna get downgraded. Um, even the PC version, even though they're running on the PC, they're gonna downgrade it so it can have console parity pretty much because that's what Ubisoft does. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna look like trash, but. To say a good thing about Ubisoft, even though they downgrade the graphics, their games are still pretty good. I will give them they have good gameplay when they're running well. But that's 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 as far as I can say. Because Watch Dogs, I had fun with Watch Dogs. I wasn't one of those people that hated that game. I actually thought the game was pretty good. Only problem was I could barely play it because it it ran like doodle on my computer. Yeah, <laughs> I, I saw I saw that when you were trying you were showing those videos. I'm like, damn, I didn't feel so bad after watching your stuff. I'm like, well, at least mine works. <laughs> right. I just didn't. I just didn't like it after like three hours of playing. I just didn't want to play it anymore. So, all right. Well, um, in closing, what would you? What grade would you give Ubisoft? Tick. Ubisoft. They get a. Um, that's a tough one because I know their games are good, but it's just Ubisoft. You know, I hate Ubisoft. <laughs> you know, I hate them. Yeah, so you, yeah, but we gotta we gotta be unbiased though. We gotta be unbiased. I right, bet. They get a D plus. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Damn. 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 D. He hit him with the old dirt bag deluxe, didn't he? <laughs> Damn, a D plus. They get a D plus. Till I see they put better games out that's that's optimized properly, they going they gonna keep that D. <laughs> No, oh, no you know what's crazy though because i was about to say something similar i'm, I'm gonna give them a c minus and only reason oh. these games look like i mean of course we know about the division not coming out until next year so they say none of these games look like they coming out anytime soon with the exception of rainbow six so i'm not sure you know and then trust ain't one of my strong points that ubisoft was, like disappointed us time after time man the last couple of years so I, i'm gonna just give them a c minus Minus only because the division is a game I'm looking the most forward to with Ghost mm-hmm. Recon being a close eye. and the other games I I don't know. Rainbow Six I was intrigued about, but the other ones I don't I don't I don't care about Assassin's Creed or South Park. So what you give them there, Merc? Uh I'm gonna give them a C plus because uh oh, nice. the division. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna give them a C plus because <laughs> of the division. And plus, you know, they said uh South Park, you know. I I Heard nothing but good things with South Park. But you ain't and gonna play it though. But you gonna give it a good rating yeah, because I of that can't. game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. My bad. Yeah. But uh, and that's that's it. I'm just giving them a C plus just because of those two games. Because I mean, I haven't heard anything bad about about uh South Park and Division. So. Right. All right. Cool. All right. Well, moving on. We'll make this one a quick one. Square Enix. Noticeable games, notable games. Just cause, which one was that? Three. Mm-hmm. Just cause, Final Fantasy VII remake. Oh God, Kingdom Hearts three, Hitman, <laughs> and Star Ocean. The oh, only I, game I, I'm, out of you know what? All of that. You know what? Out of all of those games, I'm I'm not even gonna go. I'm this one's gonna be the quickest one out of all of them, people. I'm gonna just say this. Just cause. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII remake. Okay, <laughs> believe it when I see it. Do it. Kingdom Hearts 3, been hearing about it for the past two years, still not with no release date. Hitman, y'all know I like Hitman, so, yeah. and it'll be the first one on, you know, the newer console, so that I'm intrigued about because y'all know I love Hitman. Star Ocean, I can care less. So I just covered all those games in like 20 seconds. So, Tick, what you, what you got? Um,. What was the first game we named here? Oh, Just Cause. Just, Never played Just him. Cause. And it was weird looking when I used to watch oh, people play it oh. because this dude could just parachute all over the place. And I didn't understand that because I never saw any wind. But Just Cause <laughs> is a weird game. But people like it. I, I might try it. I might give Just Cause 2 a try and see why it's love by everybody. Um, Final Fantasy VII Remake. 
you guys may have seen it on Twitter, and I was like, I don't understand why people like Final Fantasy VII, because I just don't like turn-based games in the first place, and I didn't like it back in 1997, and I don't really care much for it now. Um, maybe they'll get rid of those little small, weird-looking characters, because the graphics are better now. Maybe they look like real people running around on the screen until you get the fight, but I never thought the game was great. I don't really care about story too much, so that doesn't get me. Um... What was the other game? How Hitman. could you not? How could you not? How can you not care about Sephiroth though? That's like the biggest, baddest villain of all time, right? Yeah. So I've been told. Yeah. Anyways, I'm sorry. You, but uh, no, I'm sorry. I love the Hitman <laughs> series. So boom, they, they got they got points right there. Hitman is definitely the, that's the shit. That's the shit. Um, to watch Agent Forty Seven jogging in the you know what I'm saying in the park and all that stuff, and he not acting like a, a straight robot. He acting actually doing stuff that regular humans do. I like the turn that they did with that. So I'm I kind of like them better as a robot, though. No, no. I used to, <laughs> it's, I used to it's, it's, eliminate it's, people and then just stroll out the door with that called, little weird. It's called, neck it's called the evolution. It's called the evolution of a series. It's not keeping it the same, so it's giving it something. But that's always bad, Friend. though, because look at what happened to Call of Duty. Look what happened to Gears of War. Yeah. Look what happened to Rainbow I'm Six. Yeah. It's always but, bad. Evolution's bad. Never changed things. That's why Nintendo does well with you know their crowd. But um. Yeah, I, I don't know about the jogging thing. I mean, he could run in the other ones though, but I don't know. Um, but it's I still like yeah. it, man, so I'm definitely gonna give it a try. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. I'm 29 years old. Um, <laughs> 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 you know, I don't want to play with Goofy or anybody and hit people with little keys. I'm just saying, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an adult, so that's a Nintendo game in my books. Um, support <laughs> Nintendo, by the way. Um, so now I'm good on that. <laughs> And I think that was it, right? There was anything else that I left out? Star, yeah. That we we don't even need to mention Star Ocean, man. Oh yeah, nobody. Merc, what you got, man? Uh, the only one I care about is Hit Man. That's Pretty exactly. much, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> All right. All right. So moving along, it's not even really worth grading it. I'm D gonna plus. give it a D because nothing, nothing, nothing impressed me other than Hit Man and and as you've seen in the NBA Finals. One one thing can't one person one game can't carry a whole team. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, don't let scratch me. Boy, it's gonna be some <laughs> anger <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. I wanna I wanna get the most because okay. of that comment. Uh, uh, <laughs> yep. No, that probably but still just hear me. Just All right. <laughs> now the last, uh, the last develop. Now the last one we gonna do is uh, EA before we get into the individual conferences. Uh, and I'm gonna just do the rundown of the games, the you know the notable games, and I like I'm them just gonna all. make this one big too. EA, EA, Mass Effect, Andromeda, whatever that shit called. No that stuff's supposed to come out in 2006, 2016. I know some people that's happy about that. You got Need for Speed. That was hot. Star Wars announced. Not Star Wars expansion and Battlefront, Madden 16, <laughs> Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare 2. I'm 29, okay. but it was fun though. Yeah, NBA Live 16, and Mirror's Edge uh, Catalyst. Irk, it's on you, mm -hmm. bro. We can just go right. right down the line, man. We'll make this one quick, too, because EA, boy. All, All right. right, Battlefront, love it. Plants vs. Zombies, love it. Uh... And what else? We got a uh, Mass Effect. Uh, I haven't, I haven't got into Mass Effect, Mass Effect series right, yet. Need for Speed. Need for Speed. The the cars, like when they kind of showed it, I, I I didn't like the movement of the cars. To me, it looked like the the cars was like moving a little bit too loose. What? Yeah. Man. So I know. I, I just seen it. Then I was. I'm, I'm, that's a little iffy, you know, but I don't know. Uh, pretty much Battlefront and Plants vs. Zombies. What about Mirror's so, Edge? Hey, Tick, what you got, man? Nah, man, I'm not, I'm not Mirror's Edge, no. <laughs> I know that. Okay. Tick, what you got? Man, what you got about Mass Effect? Man, fuck that game. But um, what else we got here? We got... <laughs> So I never cared about Mass struggle. Effect. So like people know that I don't really care much for Mass Effect. Somebody even bought me Mass Effect, and I still ain't played it yet. Um, what else? what else? Um, Madden. I haven't bought a Madden since Madden 10. They've definitely been fixing the game up though, but I just don't have a console. If I'd have had a console, I'd have probably bought Madden 15 or 16, whatever it is, by now, because it actually looks pretty decent. 
Um, uh, what about what about Need for Speed? Oh man, Need for Speed, definitely, man. They went back to the underground style, I agree, bro. Yo. I what? agree. Need for Speed looks good. They went back to Need the underground. Speed. I'm not even a fan. I'm not even a fan of racing games like Me that. Neither. If if there were any racing game that I would be getting, Need it would speed. be that Need for Speed, yo. That looked good. That is the only right, racing series got, I ever uh, bought. Star Wars. Star Wars. Yo, I was on Star Wars at first, but then I heard some bad stuff about it. Like a lot of stuff they showed in the gameplay is actually behind a paywall. And then I on can, top of I that, I can guarantee, I can guarantee you that that game will not. It ain't gonna look, look like, like that. that. I run that smooth. Nah, it ain't it comes like that. out. Uh, it's nah. gonna be glitchy. I don't know what. And then um, you can't even fly the little flying ships. You can't, you can't ride in the AT. Like you can't control the AT-ATs. Those are all controlled on rails, and that's stupid. Uh. You can't. You can't control uh, them, son. Those wow, are controlled God. by rail. Wow, that's crazy. Can you be a man. Jedi? You can be a Jedi. Okay. You can do that. I don't know if it's gonna look All as right. nice what? as what we saw in that video footage, but you can be a Jedi. All right. What about Plants vs. Zombies? Garden I had the War first Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, I'll play it when it's really, really cheap. That's when I'll probably buy it. It's not a. It's not a first day purchase. It's not a. Three months purchase and probably like a seven months per purchase and I'll probably pick it up. But it was a uh, fun game. And then, it, yeah, neither you all uh, into the NBA games like me. Oh so man, I, I was about to say live actually looked good. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to live. I need 2K needs some competition because they've been sitting on the high horse and not changing stuff and being some little dick. So I'm glad the live mm -hmm. is finally caught up and it actually looks pretty good it looks like they, they fixed some of the animations like they had some animations that was like okay and some ideas and features that weren't even in 2k that were pretty good so i'm i'm i'm, I'm looking out for some some for some live now the only problem mm -hmm. with live is ea doesn't like to drop things on the pc so that's probably the only reason why i wouldn't get it i'll probably get you know 2k because they're more likely to put it on the pc so yeah we know how well that turned out right uh, yeah they didn't put voice <laughs> chat in there that was the main issue <laughs> <laughs> and then finally mirror's edge what you got i don't care about that game i don't feel like playing running simulator you know 2016. thank so. you because i didn't feel like talking about that either. all right real quick with me man i'm gonna run down the line mass effect i i tried to play the first one i didn't like it it was boring i'm not saying it's a bad game or this one gonna be a bad game for those who into it that's that's good for you i'm just not into it so I'll, I'll, I'll have to look at it and see before and I decide to get that. Just, just say it. Just let it go. Just, mm -hmm. <laughs> it sucks. Just do it. It makes you feel All better. Right. Need for Speed. <laughs> Need for Speed was probably the best game. The game that I would say, all right, I'm going to buy that right there out of all the games I saw on EA's conference. Need for Speed. Like I said before, I'm not even a big fan of, of racing games, but Need for Speed would definitely be on my radar. Star Wars. I'm not into Star Wars. It looked good, but I know that you know, they, uh, I've been fooled before and many of us have. So I'm almost certain, like I said before, that game will not look like that when it comes out. It will not look that good right. and that smooth when it comes out. Madden 16, I had Madden 15. I still have it and I didn't play it that long. So I'm just, you know, Madden needs a, and uh, I'll segue into that later with the whole, yeah. And we'll get into that in a little bit. Oh, oh, <laughs> Plant, yeah, Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare 2. I watched you. I used to watch you all streaming and stuff and play it and stuff. It did look fun. That would be something. It would have to be extremely cheap for me to buy that. You know, I would probably, that would be something I'll probably play on PC. That would be uh, a game I would actually probably get. Three? No. Uh, so, they gave so, away uh, free. No, I didn't even get it. I didn't even get it, man. I, I kid you not. When they had it on PlayStation Plus, I just, I just looked through it. NBA Live now. Y'all yeah, know I'm a huge NBA fan, basketball, sport, you know, basketball game fan. I'm not, I'm just not behind them yet. Fan you know, it, I did see some changes. I did see some, I did see some changes. <laughs> I did Dude, see some changes. <laughs> yeah, I did see some changes. No, they not, I'm not a fanboy. I'm not a fanboy. <laughs> Don't even go there because you know, you see <laughs> Now y'all see me have a video showing uh you know playing NBA Live 14, right? Y'all remember that? that whoa, right? whoa, that was the worst <laughs> okay, one. Like they fixed okay. it so much. So that. that right there, that right there made me so mad that I skipped 15 completely. This one, I'm I said that to say this. This one, I'm gonna give it a chance. 
because I do see some of the stuff that they trying to improve on. They need to work on those animations. They need to work on those alligator arms, not alligator arms, plastic man arms that uh, the people have on the game. Everybody has the same body type and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I do see some improvements. This face scan stuff, I'm not buying that right now. <laughs> ain't, ain't, no way, ain't no way in hell you gonna go up on the stage and scan somebody's face. Like, I didn't see, at first, it was 50-some percent on his phone, and then when he when he was finished with it, it was 70-some percent. You ain't fooling me on that, Jack. I saw that. <laughs> so, hmm. you know, it's not gonna take five minutes to, to scan. It might take five seconds to scan it, but it's still gonna take about an hour to render all that stuff and process it. So why they trying to make you seem like it's that simple, it's that easy what? and stuff, whatever. You yeah, man. Fight night, uh, didn't you? Fight night didn't take <sighs> long at all. Yeah, but fight night stuff was bad. Shoot, you, you know see the, the, the people that made Floyd Mayweather? Yeah, and, and I know. All them other people, I, I had them. I had them. Yeah, but that was on a what you call it, Karen. We're not talking about on your cell phone, though. Oh, oh. And then yeah, you're true. doing it on a cell phone. That's what I'm saying. You're doing it on your cell phone. All right. With that being said, Mirror's Edge, I can care less. I couldn't care less. I, I don't. I don't like Mirror's Edge. That that game give me vertigo, yo. I'm not gonna even lie. Every so I don't even want to see. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't like that game. I I, I don't even want to watch somebody. I only want to watch somebody play the game. So Ooh. my grade on EA's conference, I'm just gonna give them a C because a lot of their stuff that they got coming out is yet to be seen. Need for Speed is probably the best out of every game I saw on there. What you got, uh, T? Okay, so I would have given them a B, but the battle, the the, the the Star Wars thing after I found out that news, kind of killed it a little bit. Plus, I saw two different gameplays of that game. I think the second one in the snow was more legit looking than the one where they were flying through the you know the desert looking areas and all that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna give them a C plus, C plus. And yes, I hate Ubisoft more than EA. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what you got? What you got, Merc? Uh, I'm gonna give him a B because that battlefront just got me so hyped, man. What did I, I just I tell play. you? I wanna <laughs> play it. I don't care. <laughs> you don't care, man. You're not gonna tell nobody that's into uh, Star Wars that that game ain't gonna be good. I gotta try it. Yeah, that's that's what we do, man. We all try it. So you, all right. So, all right. Merc gave it a B. You gave it a B plus? I gave it a C plus. All right. All right, well, we'll move on. Now we're gonna get into the the meat of everything, and that's the um the actual you know conferences from Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna start off with uh Microsoft. Microsoft, Xbox One. I'm I, all that other stuff, those peripherals and stuff. I can care less about to be honest with you. I, that stuff ain't even worth mentioning. It's just gonna make for more time. I want to mention um, it. <laughs> they, well, I, I mean, I got it written down. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm going okay. I'm to I'm throw a jab at them or two, but this is going to be quick. Uh, of course, we mentioned Fallout 4. They got Gears 4 and the Ultimate Edition of Gears. Forza, Tomb Raider, not Tomb Raider, like some people pronounce in their videos. Shots fired. Tomb Raider. No, it's not a Tomb oh, <laughs> uh, Fable Legends, Halo 5, and a game Recore. Hmm. Mr. Tick. Yellow. What you got, man? What you got, man? For okay. uh we skipping Fallout. What you got for Gears? You know I I'm yeah, even we bring that one. Start him with Gears. Well, just Come make on, it make man. it just make it. We just <laughs> it, it should be that quick of then. Nah. They can hold they can have that. Not really a uh-huh. whatsoever. Not I admit the original Gears of War, those controls were kinda clunky, yo. Yeah. I was watching Cookie Monster video, he said you know, Gears of War two and three had way different controls where you could bounce off the wall better and stuff like that. Cause Gears one, maybe I need to try those other two. Cause Gears one, but that was oh, my favorite out of all of them. Taste in my mouth. <laughs> but um, right, so yeah, Gears right now, it, I don't care. Um, Fable Legends, uh, I kind of I liked the first Fable when I played it. I didn't own it, but I liked it when I played it. So I could probably get into Fable. Um, to be honest with you, I like The Witcher, which is probably the game of the year, 2015, just saying. But um, I like I like uh, Fable. So that that uh, I probably like that. What was the other game though? Tomb Tomb Raider. Tomb and then Raider. You had, uh, Halo Halo Tomb? Five and four. I thought by the time the second Tomb Raider would come out, that she would actually be like the Tomb Raider we all knew and loved from the first first couple games. You know, when she was brave, she wasn't all moaning and sound like a porn the whole time. 
you know, she was just tough, hit back <laughs> flips on people. You could dive in the pool. I used to like get on top of a cliff and then dive and break my neck. I, for some reason, I thought that was fun. That's a little creepy, but yeah, I did. But, <laughs> but um, mm-hmm. I don't know. These two Raiders nowadays, like, they strayed away from that whole thing. But I guess that's that evolving thing you're saying, you know, changing the game a little bit. So it's all right. I'll, I'll probably try it out. I did buy the first one. I haven't played it yet, but I'm definitely planning on playing it. So I'll give that one a look. Uh, Halo. Mm-hmm. Halo. If it comes out on the PC, Halo I'll buy it. If it comes out on the PC, it's I'll buy it. it. Well, then I'm buying it. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not that crazy about it, but I will buy it. It is a game that's it's pretty fun, especially when you're playing with friends. And I could destroy JG in it, which would be fun. So, yeah, shots fired, but I will be playing that. Um, Encore or Recore? I don't remember what that was. I was say Encore. So, Recore? I don't really remember what that was. So, that lets you know how I feel about that right now. Because I don't really remember that one. What was it about? Uh, I just know it was like some girl and they had like a mechanical dog and it just had like these little cores that everything was controlled by something like that it it, it looked okay you know what i mean yeah, yeah that's a rental CG. to me you know oh, yeah it it, and then it was like it was just all yeah. cg oh, no, to I me can't. it wasn't like actual game fa- ain't gameplay footage so i i can't I, nah, next yeah. <laughs> right. so you done you done with them now I'll take with the we games move, yeah. uh, the all right, what you got, Merc? Starting with Gears Four All right. and the Ultimate. Uh, Gears Four. I'm a. I, I gotta get it. You know, I'm a. I'm a Gears fan. So. Yeah, me too. Uh, so. And with the. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, with with the Ultimate Edition, I, I've I've been playing the beta. It, it's it's pretty good. I, I like the movement. Uh, is I, I I gotta get back used to it because I I was getting. I was getting uh bodied <laughs> while I was playing it, so I I, I don't lost my gear skill. But uh, let me see what else. Uh, Halo, I'm, I'm gonna try Halo. I, I I got the Master Chief collection. I got I got to go all the way through again. So I got I got to do that. So I'm I'm gonna get Halo Five. Oh, it's four. Yeah, it's five. Five. Yeah. Um, Recore. Recore looks like a game that I, I would try. Except I gotta see more of it instead of just a CG trailer, so I, I definitely would give that a try. Uh, mm-hmm. I think that's about it. I think that's all of the of the um, Xbox games that I try. All right, well here we go. Gears Four. I mean, it don't come out to two thousand what seventeen. Good. So <laughs> here you go. That's the one. Then the fact that I don't know which what I don't know what they going with it, but if it don't have Marcus Phoenix and Dom and stuff in there, it's almost kind of like they they asking for the people not to want want to play it because people play Gears for Marcus Phoenix and Dom, yo, like for real. And Bear, the ultimate uh deal. I got so before I you know get too far off with this Microsoft stuff, I am getting me a next. Oh word! Yeah, struggle. You were struggling. Yeah, a bit. you laughed for a minute. Now you all right. All right, all right, all right. So gears, like I said, I am getting me an Xbox. I'm gonna get. I, I said him. I probably was on struggle <laughs> mode when I said it though. Yeah, Coon Train. Yeah. Uh, hey, yep. Woo, <laughs> baby! No, <laughs> <laughs> you sound just like him too. It's the Cold Train, baby. Did you see that? Uh, but yeah, um, I am getting me an Xbox One soon. So. And I'll be I'll be on that gear, so Forza I can care I can I couldn't care less. Tomb Raider, to be honest with you, I never even finished the last one that came out. It got oh, you know I, I Forza. Say, That's how you know I didn't care. I didn't finish the last one, so yeah. All right, Fable Legends. I think after that Fable Three debacle, I kind of fell back from Fable. Fable Two was probably was the, by far the best one. That's probably one of the games I got the most time put into like ever of any game. Fable Two. I played that game so much. Bless you, bro. And uh, Halo Five, mm, I- I'll give it a try. And with Recore, I'm like Merc, like Merc said, I'm gonna have to see more other than some CG, uh, you know, dog and pony show to get me to, to spend my money on that. Now, before we leave Microsoft alone, though, I must say 
they did announce something that had a lot of the ex bots, ex twats, whatever y'all like calling these people, man, up and you know, shaking their they tail feathers about backwards compatibility. I'm gonna just start off. I'm gonna start off by saying this, man, and this is for the people that that's throwing this stuff and people that own Sony, you know, equipment and PlayStation 4s trying to throw that in their face. If you one of those people that sold your 360 to get a damn uh, Xbox One and got rid of damn near all your games so you can get an Xbox One, what in the fuck are you yaya and rah rah about? You don't even own this shit no more. So what you, what you, you gonna go and buy all them old games again just to do that. So you don't really reserve the right for that. Now, if you were smart and you kept all your games, then okay, that's fine. But to me, I'm not gonna praise Microsoft over something that they should have done in the beginning. The same thing with Sony, and we'll get into them later. Sony should have done the same thing because when the what the PlayStation 2 came out, you played PlayStation 1 games on them. PS3 mm-hmm. came out, you should have been able to play PS2 games on them. And you know, and so on and so forth. All those systems should already have come out with backwards compatibility. So, and like, I'm not gonna put them up on a chariot and walk them across the city because they did something that they should have done this time last year. So, on that one, that's all I got, man. So, if you, if if you out here celebrating the fact that they doing backwards compatibility, also, it's only a handful of games that they're gonna have you doing at a time either. So none of these games that, that they gonna start off with that first wave of backwards compatibility games are gonna be available starting out anyway. It'll be a year from now before all the games you probably own, you'll be able to play them on that system. So hey, moving on. Yeah, yeah. Let me, yeah. Let me, let me say something, let me say something, let me say something. So I do, I do give them applause for adding backwards compatibility. Um, now, like you said though, they should have done it from the beginning. Because it was obvious that they could have done it from the beginning, but they knew what they were doing. They were making these remasters, and you would have to go out and buy the remasters, hence to making them more money. Um, so yeah, this should have been done in the beginning, but I'm glad they finally did put it in, put it on the console. Uh, it, it is going to make the console sell a little bit more. Now, to all the people that did sell their Xboxes, their 360s to, and now they're all excited about it. Yeah, you you're a hypocrite because you sold your Xbox 360. Obviously, you didn't care about the games, so. You know, why are you so excited about it being, you know, to, be, to have backwards compatibility? On top of that, um, I mentioned, I heard you mentioned PlayStation 3 should have been able to play PlayStation 2 games. They actually did. They were able to play PlayStation 2 games. And then they took that whole backwards compatibility out of the later uh, consoles for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, because they were on Yeah, that's why I still got my 80 gig so I can uh, play uh, PlayStation 2 games if I wanted to. Yep. Um, and then I, I watched some benchmark testing on these uh, emulators, the emulator that Xbox uses to play the back uh, the older games. They don't run too well. Now it is early; yeah, they might not. have to drop some drivers for it, but hopefully they do. Because if they don't, they don't run too great. They uh, they drop frames more than th- when you played it on your 360 version. So it does have yep. some technical issues. So hopefully they can fix that, you know, in the, in the next few updates. But um, it's still cool that they can do it. Sony. We'll get to them, like you said, later on about that. So, mm-hmm. yeah. You already know. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. glad that they, that they brought it too, but uh, it's only one game that I, I want, uh, and that's Red Dead. That's it. Like, any any other games, I don't care about being backwards compatible. And uh, Remaster Red Dead. Got- you want to remaster <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I was glad to repay for that. Put it on the PC. <laughs> yeah, yep. I would definitely and, get that. And I got one more thing about Xbox. It's been two years, man. Like, how how many how many Forza are they gonna come out with? <laughs> they they drop them. Year, they man. drop them. They yeah, drop them every year, it's man. It's a Forza and then a Forza know, Horizon. It's, it's been three. It's Forza, Forza Horizon, now another Forza. I'm like, come on, man. Yeah, they it, it's, it's it's getting crazy with Forza. It's like Gran Turismo. Where is Gran Turismo though? They be taking. Long. I don't know. They need to bring that junk out for uh, PlayStation. Mm-hmm. So we done with we done with Microsoft, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. No. Moving on. Nah, wait a minute, wait a minute, so wait a minute. We forgot something. Give, I'm, uh, we forgot something. What about the uh, the, the thing controller. that you said you want to get on them about? Oh, that controller was stupid. It was cool, oh, but I ain't spending that much for no man. controller. Yeah, me neither. Ocu- what Oculus Rift? No, nah, it's called controller? the uh, the Hololens. The, the controller. Oh, Hololens. Yeah, the Holo- oh, yeah. yeah. I, I had that over here, but I was trying to just skip through that oh, stuff. Oh, you want to skip through that? Some of I liked I could have done without. Yeah, but 
Some of the stuff I could have done without was Oculus Rift, that virtual HoloLens. I don't play Minecraft for those that do. That's that's your thing. Um, don't that's, that's cool. But I, and that controller, yo, that controller. I'm not paying 150 dollars for no fucking controller. Right. I'm sorry. That's that. I'm not paying. 100, I don't care. That motherfucker. If I pay 150 dollars for a controller, that motherfucker better be making me breakfast when I get up in the morning. That's something Enough better said. give me head. <laughs> and it better be good, <laughs> bro. Hey, bro. There you go. <laughs> Here we go, man. All right. I'm going to get Microsoft Conference. I'm going to get Microsoft Conference. Um, believe it or not, I still like some of the games they came out with. I'm going to give it a I'm going to give it a B minus, man. Minus that that whole nonsense with that Oculus. I don't care about that shit. That's that's just probably why that turns me off. I don't care about Oculus Rift. I don't care about that other nonsense. But I'm going to give them a B minus cuz you see the effort that they put in the backwards compatibility. It's a start, but it's just something they should have started with a long time ago. So I'm gonna give it a B minus. What you gonna give it, Merck? I'm gonna give him a B plus because um, Microsoft is actually trying, and um, um, and they're bringing out the games that people want. They did the backwards compatibility, the uh, backwards compatibility, and all that other stuff. So they're trying, and I'm gonna give them a B plus because I I enjoyed some of the games that they have, and at least I seen that Recore. You know, that's something new. So I'm. I'm gonna give him a B plus. All right. I'm gonna give okay. him. I'm gonna give him a B plus, just like him, uh, just like Merck, just because um, I like the whole backwards compatibility uh, compatibility idea they threw out there. I like the whole, you know, I like virtual reality. So all that virtual reality stuff, I love. The only reason I give him a B plus though, like they would have gotten an A, but I give him a B plus because they didn't show a lot of new IPs. Like the only two I, new IPs I can remember was like. Cuphead, which looked like a cartoon from the 1920s, so I could care less about that. Um, and I'm not, and that was an indie because you know they were yeah, talking about I all them that. indie titles, yeah, and I'm not really even into indies. Yeah. So, I, that's why I didn't even bring that up. Yeah, I don't even care about indies, and I don't see what people like about indies. Right, I think so that's like we, hipster shit. But um, what else? What else? Hey, some indies are good. So. Man, fuck that. All them shits like they're from like Sega Genesis. Like I had a Sega. I've been there, done that back in the 90s when I was like seven. So I don't need no 16-bit games. Or no PlayStation 16-bit, 32-bit games, so I'm good on that. But they they showed right. Record, and that was like the only game that was like a new IP. So that's the only reason I give them a B plus. If they would have show more, you know, newer IPs, I definitely would have given them an A for that. So it was all all around a good. It was a good conference for Microsoft, definitely. All right, mm-hmm. all right. So we gonna move on to Sony now. Sony, oh boy, Sony, 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 has <laughs> done it again. <laughs> uh, all the same, man. They, uh, they never cease to amaze, yo. All right, um, we some. I'll get into the games first. Uh, notable games. You had The Last Guardian. You had Horizon, Street Fighter Five, No Man's Sky. You had that Destiny DLC, The Taken King. You had Final Fantasy VII Remake, which we'll disregard because we talked about that already. You're right. Shin Mue 3 Kickstarter, <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops 3, <laughs> and Uncharted 4. Uh, oh man. Um mm-hmm. Mark, Last Guardian. Uh I'm a, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna give it a try. You know, I seen like I seen a lot of people excited for it, so uh it it looked alright, but uh I'm gonna give it a try. I, I, I'm not gonna say, like. I always give a game a try, so it is it, nothing that I know about it. So all I can say is it, it looked okay, but it, it didn't look like it was like any good gameplay or something amazing. But I don't know. I, I just didn't know what all the hype was about for it. I'm gonna give it a try though, because the Ico. Yeah, that's the first thing I thought of when Shadow I saw that game. I, that's that's the first thing I thought of with Shadow of Colossus and, and Eco, Ico, whatever they call it. Tick, what's your what's your take on Last Guardian? Last Guardian, like the art style, and this is what always was good about those games, like Ico and Shadow of Colossus. The art style is amazing. The graphics, amazing. But mm-hmm. I never could get down with the gameplay with those games, especially Ico, because half the time I don't think you really fought anything. You were just holding this girl's hand and running her around through like these areas because she was pretty much defenseless um shadow colossus did have some good combat though you climb on these big you know goliaths and kill them and stuff like that that was pretty cool 
Um, so let so, me ask you something real. Let me ask you something real quick. Tick, you did play uh, Shadow Colossus and Ico, right? Never played Nila. Oh Nila. man, so you didn't watch. So you didn't watch it on G4 TV like like I did back in the day and and want to buy that game. I did watch it on G4 back in the day, but it never really like it was. They weren't a game that I really wanted to buy. Like Shadow Colossus kind of had my interest, but like it wasn't as gory as I would like it. And I didn't like the black blood that came out of the monsters. Mm-hmm. So it kind of, you know, I didn't really, I wasn't too interested in going out and buying, especially Ico. Ico, a lot of people slept on Ico to be honest, but then like people finally picked it up because it was like cheap, and then they were like, oh my yeah. god, this game is actually pretty compelling. So, but yeah. I mean, truth be told, I bought that game like about four months ago, the little double game that you get on the PS3, Shadow Colossus and Ico, and that was my first time playing it. I never even touched uh, Shadow Colossus. I went straight to Ico, and it, it's pretty good. So, so what's your, your your overall take on Last Garden? You like the you like the the presentation, but the gameplay just don't don't do it for you. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, the presentation is cool. Like it reminds me of a Zelda like game, and Zelda is another game that I don't really care much for the only zelda i really i played the second one on my cell phone i forgot which one it was it was for like the game boy Advance. but um the main zelda that i've actually ever played was zelda 2 back on the day on the nes and that's as much as i ever cared for it at the time and i haven't cared for a zelda since then that's what the game kind of reminds me of but it's a sexier looking zelda so <laughs> i will say that the graphics do look amazing so all right so my take on that game is i don't really have one i mean i'm just l- listening to the little boy holler all day you know at that thing whatever it is mm-hmm. bird dog and he's just doing a little silly shit, getting himself in trouble and, and the thing just bailing him out that's all i got out of that for them seven eight minutes they showed it yeah i mean it, 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 I was like, what? yeah that was I, that was that was raw deal right there i came front but I mean, how is that going to be the whole thing throughout the game, or is it going to be some other stuff going on throughout the game? That's the million dollar question. Because, I mean, you know how that goes, man. They get you with that with that opening, and then the rest of the game is like, what? What did I buy this for? I just hope that's not the case. I hope it's a good game. I hope every game is a good game, to be honest with you. But I don't really have that that high of an expectation of the game, so to speak. So we'll move on uh, to Horizon. That what you think about Horizon? Oh that God. looked Ooh. good. <laughs> that Horizon looked was good. Horizon was was tight. That, that game I will be buying, yo. And I'm not even that into game robot games. games. But it looked good. Yeah, I think that, that was good. Yeah, I think that was the best game in E3 to me. To me, yeah, because it was a cause sleeper because it, it came out of nowhere, yo. Because I didn't expect it. I didn't. I didn't expect it at all. You know, I'm not always on IGN and GameSpot and all that stuff to, to check all that stuff. So when I see it, it's new to me when I when I'm looking at it. Anything that's new, nobody knew about it. it. it, was, yeah. it was, that, that game was on point to me. By far, probably the second favorite game that I saw on uh, that I was that I'm I'm looking forward to on that. Uh huh. That was that was right. like the best game for me because. Because it was new, it was a new IP, and it was a surprise. So that's why I just, mm-hmm. you know, to me, that was like the best, the best game in E3 that I seen. Yeah, that game did look amazing. I was like, whoa, what is this? Like, I remember I was getting ready for work when I saw it. Like, I was just getting ready to leave out, and I was watching on Spike TV, and I was like, yo, this game looked crazy. What is this? <laughs> and I think you All might right. be able to find my tweets on. I was like, yo, that game Horizon looked beast. That's what it was crazy. Yo, looking. see the best thing the best thing about that whole thing when like when I saw all that stuff, it wasn't when everybody else was watching it. So it was like, you know how some people get on there, yo, this looked t- trash, and then other people agree with them and stuff like that. I got to watch it like the day after when mm-hmm. I got up that next day. Cause I was at work while I was going on, so I didn't get to see it and I watched it that next day. So like when everybody was done talking about it, I was able to formulate my own opinion, my own objective opinion about it and not just going off of what somebody else thinks because I'm going to do that anyway. But the fact that I didn't have Twitter to look at people talking about it and stuff, I didn't care about what nobody YouTube was saying. I just wanted to see it for myself. Horizon looked good, though. I, that's all I'm going to say. Horizon looked really good, and I will be buying that game soon yeah. as. So we'll move on from that game. So I can get it. <laughs> yeah, you got a job, bro. Quit playing. Move on. Street, Street Fighter Five. Street Fighter Five. Merc. What you got mm-hmm. on Street Fighter Five? You ain't much of a fighter it. game. 
Uh, I like fighting games. I'm more of a 3D fighter person though, but it looked cool though. I ain't going. I, ain't, I mean, I've always liked Street Fighter, so it looked pretty cool. Uh, I might pick it up. Might pick it up. Can't I see they it. changing some stuff up. They did. They changed it from <laughs> what Maximilian said. They changed a lot of stuff. Um, they have these things yeah. called uh, I forgot what the V gauge or some shit. I forgot yeah, what. that's all that stuff. Look, yeah, there's some different little stuff on there, but. I I, I I mean i love street fighter yo don't get me wrong but i mean long as it's long as they don't stray too far away from the, the original formula i'm cool i mean i know you got to evolve and all that stuff but sometimes less is more when they try to change too much at one time it, it takes away from it but if it's if it's a I, I think it's gonna be good i think it's gonna be good i mean you know it's gonna come out after you know people's tired of mortal kombat but hell i'm already I've tired already of mortal kombat tired of yeah i've already grown out of it i ain't gonna lie Too so we'll yeah we'll we'll keep it well uh, yeah yeah especially on pc it's, it's terrible but um yeah we'll keep it moving you know we you, go say to no that. you say that that is lagging on the pc but maximilian dude has it on all systems and he says it's lags worse on the xbox he yep. said the pc is like Kind of close to the PS3, PS4's uh, connection. To be honest with you, I don't have that many problems when I play online on PS4. I honestly don't. Well, he said that I, one was the best one. Yeah, I don't really have problems on the PS4. That's why I can only speak of because I got it on PC and PS4, so I can only speak of what I know. And I don't really have that many problems on it on, on PS4. PC was bad, you know, like really bad when I tried it. So yeah, I tried all to right. fight JG, and that was that was all I needed. Not want to play it no more. <laughs> All right, No Man's Sky. I'm gonna start this one off. Not a fan, not interested. I see what they're trying to do, but if you into that thing, that's cool. But I'm just not into that. You know, that's just I don't know. That should look boring as hell. Star Citizen. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to play that. So, what you got on No Man's Sky, Merc? <laughs> uh, nothing. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Take Star no Citizen. Man's Sky? star oh, citizen. Okay. that that's a game that's going to do it but better <laughs> so, okay that's 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 my game. all right next man up put me in coach <laughs> we, we, we do that then uh destiny dlc the taken king skip Merc is the nerd <laughs> Merc is the Merc is the Merc is the destiny guy of the oh, three as well man. me too but Merc play it a little more than i do we both play it pretty much the same amount but Merc, I'll let you I'll let you have a flow on this Destiny DLC. Oh, and the fact man. That it's for, oh, I forgot to put the in there. This DLC is 40 bucks, yo. Yeah. 40 dollars. Yeah. 40. They, that's that's what I hate about it. I mean And I this is not included. This thinking? is not included for the people that got the season pass. This is completely separate from people that got the season pass. Even yeah. if you got the season pass, of course you got all the, the what it's been what two DLC since the game came out in September? Yeah. They, been they two made DLCs. it easier for people who just coming in because if you they got this deal where you can pay sixty dollars you get everything like all three DLCs and and Destiny. So if if you are if you are new to Destiny, that would be the deal for you because you get everything for sixty dollars. But and if you if you got a day one like us, they basically put a foot in your ass and said go shove it. That's pretty much what yep. they did. Yep. And I I hate the price. Like I I I'm still trying to, yeah I'm still <laughs> trying to figure out if I want to do it or not. But it, it looks like a lot of content. But I got to see more because it, to me, if it if it's not forty dollars worth, I'm I'm not spending my money. I mean, I love Destiny. Like I love loot based games and stuff like that. But uh, that forty dollars is a little too steep. That's damn near a uh, price for a uh, brand new game. And I mean, but when I seen that Titan light on fire and he's throwing the hammer around like Thor, <laughs> I want to spend that money, but they ain't gonna get me it's, like it's definitely tempting. Yeah, it's definitely tempting. It's definitely tempting. And we know Tick, Tick kind of like Tick kind of out of the loop on it because Tick don't don't own the you know the newer consoles to yeah. play that game on. So we'll just we'll just keep it moving. All I'm gonna say is forty dollars is too much for DLC. It better be enough stuff on there, man, to keep keep me playing that game for the next year for 40 fucking dollars so so we'll keep moving man on that one to something that i know tick and i know myself was so crazy about when we saw it and that was shinmu 3 yo Woo! King Kingdom, 
Strange. 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 Woo! Where that one? Yeah, man. That's that's that was that was hot. That was hot right there, yo. When I saw that, I did I actually I got tweeted about it first, and I was like, yo, say word. And then I seen it for myself. I'm like, oh. I was like, you serious, yo? Man, we've been cried. waiting on we've been waiting on this for a long time, yo. And then it goes, it, it came out, it was uh put out there that that game kind of like crashed the site. And people within 20 minutes had already donated like 300 300,000 dollars. They had a million to within get, an hour. Yeah. They were trying to get they were trying to get like what? 2 million? Yeah. To kickstart yeah, the game. In like nine and hours. I think they and I think they did that in like a day. So it'll be coming. Hopefully I don't even want them to rush that, yo. It's like do, take do, your do. take your yeah, take your time on it, man. Take all the time you need. I, take all the time you need. I just don't don't wait till I'm old and shit and ain't in the games no more. I'm right. just saying, but take to take the time you, you almost need there. to get that right. Fuck that. <laughs> take the time you need. Yeah, to, uh, <laughs> take the time you need to, to get that stuff done, yo. So I mean, what's your take uh on that on that shit move, uh, Mert? Um it yeah, I'm I'm glad that it's coming out. But please tell me, did y'all Watch hear that words. thing? No, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> did y'all hear that? Sony, they just did a Kickstarter just for a filler, just to see if people would, would want to play that game. Because Sony yeah. was already going to back it. That Kickstarter was for nothing. So they just got money out of a bunch of people for no reason. Oh, huh? shoot. I don't care. Add well, that million to hey, the game. Hey, man. Add that to the budget, yo. I, yeah, I know. Get some it, better voice me, acting it, in the game than part one. I like the doodle voice acting. Keep hey, the doodle voice hey, acting. Part, part, part one. Did you hear about the incident? What about the incident? <laughs> oh, Rio. I think I saw him going down to so and so's market. Go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that that digital voice, yo, that ain't what's up. They gotta get some some better voice actors, man. Do you know where I can find some sailors? <laughs> yeah, get the yeah. Get you the say dude sailors, from, uh... but you don't mean just <laughs> yeah. any sailor. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you gotta get some other dudes out here, man. That ain't doing nothing right now. Yeah, uh, I, I just hope so. that they take that 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 uh, kid star money and just make sure that this game is like the best ever. Oh my god! Yeah, what, yeah, yeah man, I still got my, I still got my Sega Dreamcast. Right, you know that, right? So, right. <sighs> and my Shimu Two is right here. I'm looking right at it. I'm looking right at it. My oh, Shimu, man. and I got Shimu Two on That's the Xbox. Like the, so, if y'all not, if y'all not. In the know, man. When I said that's like that, that Horizon was the second game I was looking forward to. You can kind of hear it in our voices, which was number one. Shimu, yo, definitely. I, I, man, that's that's definitely number one for definitely. me. What you what you got on it, Tig? Well, I think we covered enough, but you want to add something to it? Greatest greatest game of all time. That's all. <laughs> that's all <I> <laughs> greatest game of all time. Let's forget all Final right. Fantasy, all right. Fallout, yeah. all them. Greatest game of all time, Shimu. All right, moving on, we go to this Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Call of Duty, well, PlayStation 4 is the new home of Call of, Call of Duty. <laughs> Call of Duty is on Sony now to get everything first now instead of Xbox, so you know what that means, right? All they the COD nerds, all the, the, all the COD dweebs, real. all the COD dweebs coming over to uh, the Sony now, and Cat's going to be hating, so... I don't really care because I don't plan on getting it. You know what I mean? Like I said, after after call after Black Ops Two, I was like, nah, I'm cool. And I even tried Ghost for about a month, and I was done. I didn't get Advanced Warfare. I stuck to my guns. I wasn't even interested. I wasn't even intrigued in the slightest to play that game. So, so you know, Call of Duty Black Ops Three. What is this shit gonna be? What Titanfall Three now? Because Advanced Warfare looks just like Titanfall Two. So man, I, don't know. Was I ain't got, start. I ain't got, yeah, I ain't got no, I ain't got no opinion on that game. I'm, I'm so tired of Call of Duty. Everybody, everybody like Activision. Everybody like uh, Treyarch. I mean, not Activision, but Treyarch and Black Ops and stuff like that. Black Ops One was cool. Black Ops Two was Doo -doo. super laggy. Yeah, the connection just killed it for us all because we all played that at one point. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't, I didn't. I don't know. I don't. I don't want nothing to do with Call of Duty right now. I'm just tired of it. They they should they should take like three years off of making that game, and get their shit together. Call uh, every time, every five minutes. Halo yeah, everything, every five minutes, stuff flying around in the air, shooting you down, and all that. I'm 
I'm just tired of all that kill streaks and all that stuff. I guess because I play Destiny a lot and you don't have all that mess. You know, it's like it's, it's cool. So yeah, I don't mind the perks and all that, but all that all that supporting, you know, people camping to get kill streaks and shit. I, blah. What's your take on it, Merc? I know you don't really care, but what you got? Nope. I ain't bought I ain't <laughs> bought uh, Call of Duty ever since uh Black Ops 2. But uh, mm -hmm. I, I do I do like Treyarch games. Uh I might game flight to see how it is, but the gameplay that I seen, it seemed like uh people were dying fast as hell. Like <laughs> it looks like Call of Duty on steroids, like that that's I seen people die too too quick, so I'm just game fly. Man, T, what's going on, everybody? T Martin here. No, I'm just <laughs> 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 what's going on, guys? But um, excited. but no, it, it it looks like Titanfall definitely. Now they have really they've gone that Titanfall route with with a splash of Destiny in there because if you didn't know, David Vonderhaar is an avid Destiny player. Like he talks, I actually yep. follow him on Twitter. Me. Will talk about Destiny all the time, so they added some Destiny features in there. There are some Destiny. If you like Destiny, Mercury, you might like it. And if you like Titanfall's oh wall running, you might like it because the wall, the wall running is in there now. At first, they just had the rockets and the dashing on Advanced Warfare, but now they were like, "Nah, we're gonna go to you know the whole nine yards with it, like Titanfall." And they actually have you running on the walls, um, and you can shoot off the walls and everything. It looked pretty, it looked pretty good. So to all the people that like Titanfall. If you don't like Black Ops 3, then you are just a hypocrite and a hater because it's going to feel exactly the same. Because, first of all, the people that made Titanfall were the original, um, they were the original Infinity Ward. So, mm -hmm. it's going to feel pretty much exactly the same. Because, you know, I know, know people just hate Call of Duty, just to hate Call of Duty now, but these were the same people they used to love and suck the shit out of its stick back in the day. So, yeah. I, I don't. I'm not gonna buy it probably because I haven't bought one since Black Ops 2 because that game left a bad taste in my mouth. It was horrible. Um, and I tried to play Ghost and I really was like, yeah, it's really bad. And then I tried to play Advanced Warfare, and that was like the first Call of Duty I sucked at. And I was like, yep, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> so yeah, I'm good. I'm good on on it. I don't know. I might try though. I'm not even gonna lie to myself. I might buy it. Ain't nothing else worth playing. So and I need my shooters. <laughs> so I might cool. pick it up. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Uh, yeah, I mean, next game will be. Uh, I'm done with Call of Duty. Next game will be Uncharted Four. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. What you got? What you got, mm -hmm. Mer? What you got, Mer? Oh man, I love Uncharted. That uh, that sequence, like driving through the town, that shit was lovely. Uh, I still don't see how the hell that truck kept up with them because they doing all these shortcuts. Like I don't know if this. This thing had like rubber turbos band. or whatever. <laughs> rubber band. <laughs> but, hey, yeah, that that joke was crazy. But I, I love Uncharted. I can't wait to play the multiplayer. Hopefully, the multiplayer is like Uncharted Two. But um, did not hear that there is no good. multiplayer on this one. A what? Yeah, I think I heard the same thing, man. They they no. ain't confirmed nothing as far as multiplayer yet. Thought I heard that it was. It don't man. matter, cause cause I had Uncharted. Only one I ever played was Uncharted Two. It was a good game, but the multiplayer sucked anyway. So, but wait, 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 oh, wait. no, 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 oh, wait, no, 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 I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. The remastered versions oh, don't yeah, have remaster, multiplayer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah because you remember, because if you if you get the remastered, then they'll let you, you the into beta. the the beta, the beta for the beta. four. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. But that's what it was then. It was the remaster. I knew whichever one was come, the next one that was supposed to been out didn't have multiplayer. I did hear that. Yep. So that's yep. it then. Okay. So what you got on I tried it for then, Tick? Man, that game looked amazing. That almost made me go buy a PlayStation 4 when I saw it. <laughs> I was about to buy one right then and there. I was like, well, might as well get it then. Because that's how it looked crazy. Oh, my goodness. Um, The only problem I had, and this is just a be me being a graphics whore and a PC elitist, but. When he was driving through the water under the little bridge and the, it, the splash, there was pretty much no splash. It looked stupid, but other than that, it looked amazing. That's all I'm saying. It looked amazing. Yeah, yeah. But without nitpicking, yeah, it, it looked good to me. I um, don't really have a problem with it. I like Uncharted. I think it's, I think it's a cool game. I think Sony sometimes hang their hat too much on that one game, though, to kind of like get them over the hump. 
they always save it for last in their present presentations and stuff like right they, they still do a lot of little stupid stuff and we'll get into that in a second but <clears throat> all in all, two I, think hours I, try to look, I think i yeah i think nah we 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 a little over hour but we gonna keep it moving though but uh uncharted um uncharted look good and that's all i gotta say about that it look good and that's definitely a game i'll be getting on the on the ps4 yep so uh i'll keep it going uh i'll give sony's conference a b nothing higher nothing lower i'll give it a b mainly in part and shimu had a lot to do with this shimu practically <laughs> lebron they conference to me so uh, uh shimu 3 and horizon were the best two you know that i'm more interested in and uncharted coming in third and some of the stuff i could have done without with that project morpheus mess and uh ps view I don't care about that. I didn't see those. I didn't yeah, see those. See, you you blinked yeah, you ain't and missed it, bro. Yeah, you ain't missed nothing. So, all right, what's your what you what you giving them on uh overall presentation, Mert? Uh, I gotta give them a I gotta give them a, a, a B plus because of Horizon, Uncharted, and um and what else? Oh yeah, Shamu. That's it. I mean, like they came out with the games. They had that surprise with the um. With Horizon, you know, mm-hmm. and they they brought my 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 favorite game, Uncharted, and they brought Shimu. I mean, like what, what else? <laughs> yeah, Who, like, yeah. Who showed Dark Souls? Wasn't that PlayStation? I don't care about that shit. <laughs> I, nah, Xbox did. Microsoft oh, did. Xbox. Yeah, uh, that's why I, I didn't even bring it up because it wasn't even worth mentioning to me. It was a CG trailer anyway. Yeah, pretty much. All right, what you got, Tig? Sony. Oh man, Sony! Sony get an A plus. I'm sorry, I got a fanboy on that one. Oh, oh, they get an A plus. Shenmue oh, alone. You gonna get hate? I don't hey, care. Boy. Cause Shenmue alone. Oh my <laughs> goodness, that damn. Uh, that's that's why they get an A plus instantly right there. I'm sorry, that's so, Shenmue. I'm a straight so fanboy on that mark, one. At the 80 minute mark, you are gonna have people frying you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You I mean, look, it was no way I was getting out of this anyway, but I already know I can say one thing and like hey, I can be like, yeah, man. The graphics, the grass didn't look that he hating on the grass. What? <laughs> yeah, so, you know how it is. Ain't no way I'm getting out of it. it, it they just look for me to hate. But well, Tick gives it an A plus, yo. A plus. God damn. And you know I like virtual reality ooh, too, ooh. so I'm mad I didn't see the Morpheus thing, because if I'd have seen it, I probably would have been on it, but Yeah, yeah I'm cool with that. But yeah, yeah. Horizon, wow. Shinmu. And um, Uncharted, yeah, definitely, definitely were the top games that they showed, definitely. But that Shinmu just took the cake. I'm sorry. That's why they get Absolutely. an A+. Plus. If they didn't show that, they would have got a B plus. Or a B. Yeah. They probably would have got a B. Not even gonna lie. They probably would have got a B. <laughs> All right, there you have it. And last but certainly not least, Nintendo. Mm. <laughs> Hated it. Let's, let's bow our heads, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I support Nintendo though too. Oh my god. So, play, so, so, so play the funeral this. music, man. Play the funeral did, music, yo, because they died they a slow me? death. Oh my god. Did they have to say nothing but kids was watching that? Hey. They did. I felt like I felt like I felt like when they did that, that shit like should have been on like that shit should have been on like Nick Teen or something like like the Nick and Lodian channel or some shit. Nah, they should have yeah. <laughs> no, Nick, Nick Junior, that, bro. That, that should have been Nick Junior, uh, a uh, fucking uh, whatever that's that's that shit is. PBS. That should have been like coming on right after Sprout. Sesame Street. Sprout, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sprout right after Caillou. Man, I'm telling you, man. I I to be honest with you. I couldn't even watch all of it. That's how unbearable it was, people. So I don't want y'all to think I hate Nintendo. Cause I love Nintendo back when Nintendo was good. Support Nintendo. NES, NES, Super NES, N64, even the GameCube, mm-hmm. and the, even the Wii. Even the Wii when the Wii first came out was fun. But anything after that, I can't. I can't rock with Nintendo. Yo. I just can't rock with Nintendo. The only games I saw that was worth even mentioning that I even understood what they were was Star Fox Zero, Haru Warrior Legends. And Super Mario Maker. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> That's, that was it, man. I'm like, basically, man, Nintendo right now, man, I'm sorry, but Nintendo is like a one legged man in an ass kicking contest, yo. <laughs> like, they cannot, they they just cannot win for losing, yo, and they keep shooting themselves in the foot, man. They, they keep shooting themselves in the foot, man. Like, they don't listen to the people, man. 
They don't listen yeah. to the people. The people don't say and nothing. They, That's the main reason. Uh, they don't the man children listen love to it. the people. Man, the, they don't listen, yo. Amiibos. What's the What's the dude? Uh, the, the head of Nintendo name. What's his name? Uh, uh Kawasaki. I forgot. I'm tripping. Nigga, you, you talk about a oh, motorcycle. No, all I know is Reggie. <laughs> uh, Reggie, Reggie Fisa, and man. um. I don't know the other guy. Is that, the, nah, is that, Mir- is that Mir- Miramoto? Please, uh, no, nah, that's uh, that's that's, that's Sony Iwata. Yeah, that's Iwata. Please understand. Please understand. Yeah, that's Please a Sony understand. dude, ain't it? That's a, yeah, that's Iwata right there. Now Mir- Miramoto, that's the dude that uh. What is Iwata? Is Nintendo? Is Iwata? Yeah, I think Iwata. Yeah, Iwata. Please under yeah. Please, please understand. understand. Yeah. Please understand. Fox Star Fox, I make. This is what he said. I make drawings and designs, so I go with the fox. I'm like, we don't want to hear the life story of Star Fox, nigga. What the fuck are y'all coming out with, man? That's what we want to know. All right, man. We just going. We just about to chop, cut the head off of this beast right here. Star Fox Zero. I don't care. Haru Warrior Legends. I don't care. Super Mario Maker. I don't care. Pretty much, man. I don't care about anything Nintendo had to had to bring to the table. They brought out a lot of sh- stuff about with the uh, the the, D, the 3DS and some other nonsense, and it's just stuff nobody cared about, man. It, it just it was just like you could hear. It was so quiet during the Nintendo stuff, man. You could hear a rat pissing on cotton, yo. Like for real, <laughs> it was terrible, man. It was terrible. I sat through like 12 minutes of it, and I just could not watch anymore. I'm like, man, all right, I'm done, man. This is gonna have to do notes. I just took my notes, wrote down three games, and other than Star Fox, nothing. If you're a Wii U owner, would be worth even even mentioning. So, uh, your take on Nintendo, Merc? <laughs> oh man, um, I did so- care for the for the uh, <laughs> presentation. I mean, I'm a Wii U owner. Ugh, but uh, kids, yeah. though. sorry to hear yeah, that. But, yeah, I got, you got kids, kids man, but so. but hey, they got fun games on there. Like me and my kids, Splatoon is actually fun. Oh my and, gosh! Uh, and yeah, I heard that was fun. Yeah, and uh, we still play uh, Smash Brothers. You know, I be kicking some tail. And uh, but yeah, like those are the, those are the only games like I really play on the Wii U. Is just those two. Like anything mm-hmm. else. Uh, we'll be uncivilized. <laughs> yeah. Tick, Nintendo. Man, you said Splatoon. Look up a game on YouTube called Color Wars and just check that out because that was a game that was supposed to come out like four or three years ago and it was canceled. It was supposed to be for the Xbox. It was like a little developer who was making it for Xbox and the, uh, your, um, what are those little characters called? You know, Amiibos. Not Amiibos. On Xbox, yo, your, your little avatars. Your avatars. Avatars. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So yeah. check that out because you will see where Nintendo got the idea for uh, Splatoon. All they did was add it so you you make your little squids and stuff. And you can go under the ink and everything. But check that. You, you know what, dude? You know what, dude? Saying why you saying it right? Who? Please understand. Please understand. <laughs> Please <laughs> you understand. Move, you lose. You move. You lose. <laughs> you move. You lose. Yeah. So that's what he's saying right now. He stole that idea and ran to the bank with it, but. But my, uh, my thing with Nintendo is I I grew up, but Nintendo didn't grow up with me. That's my issue. Yep. That's my main issue with Nintendo. Well I grew put. up, but they didn't grow up with me. Uh-huh. Um, it's cool to have the games for kids, but you got to have those mature games too. Like we're, the, Most of the Nintendo g- gamers that started off with the NES, we're in our late 20s or mid 30s to 40s. We're old. We're adults yep. now. We're, we're, we're grown. We don't want to play these little flower games and mario need to retire or a little something or bring them out every 10 years or something because like they just they just use them too much like they're, they're trying to feed off of your nostalgia and that's the problem with you know the system because these man children who had to know back in the day they just accept it they don't they don't yeah. try to fight anything and so, yeah, that's they cash, that's they cash cow though. So I mean, you can't really blame them for doing it. But at the end of the day, my thing is, I don't mind you constantly coming out with Mario games, but I need to see more than just Mario. Right. I need so I need to see more than Mario. I need to see more than Link. You know, what I'm saying and Star Fox don't come out as much, so I can understand the Star Fox, you know, nostalgia. But I need to see more more than Mario and Link. You know what I mean? I mean, I can't think of nothing else like and then what Mario they Tennis, Metroid? Mario Party. Yeah. Like, are you it, kidding me, son? Really? A Metroid for 3DS and it doesn't even have Samus in it? It doesn't even look like... The, like, the, the, the character models were weird looking, first of all. And you didn't make a Metroid for the Wii U? 
Like, that's why people made that yeah. petition to cancel that game, bro. Like, come on, son. Come on, Nintendo. That's the first time I've seen Nintendo fans actually fight. And then just accept yeah, they, like, oh, well, yeah, it's still Metroid. I'll play it. And y'all people, up on the, Wii U. the whole time we talking about Nintendo, I'm, I'm going to just give y'all a screenshot of, like, the fate, the the like my my whole uh, demeanor right now, and y'all see it. Y'all y'all just see y'all just see what I'm doing right now, man. I'm just face palm right now, Can't like truly. Yeah, I'm just I'm just face palm, and hmm. that you you'll just get the you'll get the the understanding of how like frustrating it is to watch Nintendo go from number one to like number none. Like they they getting down there with the Ouya right now at this point, I man. For real, but like you know what? this is. This is bad. They still make yeah, money, man. though. Yeah, they gonna make yeah, money. Yeah, 3DS, that's it. Yep, that 3DS yeah. was selling. I don't know why the Vita ain't doing better than the 3DS, but they, oh, oh yeah, because yeah, you, you ain't gonna never, you ain't gonna never be, you ain't gonna never be Nintendo on a handheld. You yeah, market, yeah. You, yeah. you can make Sony, a better they, handheld. They with them SD cards too. Every single cars, time. Oh yeah, Sony done for that. Sony like to do st- stupid stuff like that. Even the cameras are, they have proprietary things for those. Like you can't even use a universal flash form. You gotta actually buy a Sony flash and stuff like that, which is stupid. Drops. But um, yeah. They, yeah, a lot of consoles. I mean, there'll be there'll be handhelds that's better than Nintendo's, and they still win. The Game Gear definitely was one of them. Ah, just saying. All right. Yeah, but <laughs> but you could only play it for 15 minutes. Not you if had, you had a battery you, pack. You to, so you had to use eight damn batteries every like 30 minutes. I had so a battery I, pack. I fucking hated that Game Gear. <laughs> I could I was, play for was, three I hours. I love Sega, yo, but the Game Gear was fucking booty, yo. I'm just going to be real. That I had a battery pack. It was trash. I, I can tell you why pack. the 3DS will always win in this Pokemon. That's it. Yep. Yeah, that and um, yep. one of those RPG games, uh, it's Fire Emblems or whatever it's called. Those, whatever. Oh, and Zelda. Oh yeah, and, Zelda, and, yeah. and the game and the game Tick was playing Cooking Mama. Cooking Mama, <laughs> what is that? Over here flipping eggs on the 3DS. Is that really what the game's about though? Oh, we're burning eggs. <laughs> hey y'all, love like you, bro. <laughs> Oh man, oh man! All right, so all in all, Nintendo, what you giving Nintendo, Merc? To the uh, elf. <laughs> Tick. Yep. I was about to say F I was about to say, say, to say F. Dog. I'm F. so mad he said it. F F F. <laughs> they got. You're getting an F. They got a five out of five F U's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah. spend your money on the Wii U. Just get a 3DS. That Wii U was dead. And you know what was really messed up? We were waiting on an announcement for their next console that they were talking about they were making. And they ain't even said nothing about it. Like, that was the main thing people were I didn't hear any, Yeah, I didn't even hear anything about it because I heard people talk about it a couple of weeks before it started. And no, and it was no mention of it when I watched it. At least the part that I saw. If we wrong, I'm quite sure y'all are correct us. But I didn't see anything. So, that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much all I got. Uh, biggest surprise... I'll start with uh, my biggest surprise of E3 was without a doubt Shinmu, and uh, biggest surprise was Shinmu without a doubt. Right. That was a pleasant surprise, and my biggest disappointment, no fight night. Right. I didn't say anything about fight night. No fight night from EAO. No fight night. Y'all know boxing. I got a background in boxing. No fight night, yo. I man, we need that boxing. on this next system. They showed man. boxing as one of the previews when before the PlayStation Xbox was launched. Remember when they were showing live and stuff? Mm-hmm. And one of the the, the mm-hmm. little things they were showing was boxing in there too. I'm like, oh, so they got fight nights on it on works too? No fight night, man. And before we forget, before y'all thought we forgot about it, Joe Montana. Right, Joe Montana. <laughs> Thought we forgot about he your ass, man. Yo, dude, uh, that dude, they, that dude. Hey, he, yeah. hey, everybody, like, see, I'm not heavy in the football game and things, so I know a lot of, you know, it don't affect me as bad as it may affect other people. Cause I seen people's channels that were uh, talking about it. You know, I watched a lot of my channel. He was talking about it. Uh, a couple other people's channel, they were talking about it. You know, saying like, man, it's great to have an alternative. They had all this stuff. They pulled the wool over everybody's eyes. Talking about, yeah, Joe Montana visits Microsoft and he does this. He said, it. oh my God. And come to find out that this game is going to be an iOS game, yo, a mobile, <laughs> a mobile PC. game. Hey, please and tell maybe, me y'all and then, No, he didn't say face. it was guaranteed to be PC. He said it's going to be iOS. And then over the Android, and then eventually good. over the PC. And then Nothing the about consoles. 
He said, and did you see this dude face afterwards, man? It's like that dude had a face like he was on his way to the gallows when that lady said, "Why, why, uh, why mobile?" He looked like somebody had that sniper uh, aim on his ass, and he knew he was about to get his head blown off. Like he was on his way to put his neck on the guillotine, yo. That dude looked like he did not want to be there. Like he, he looked like he had got. He like he got kicked in the nuts when they said that, but I'm like they were it's their own fault because he kept on like teasing like yo we doing all this and then we seen screenshots, you knew they didn't have NFL players on it, so why would you even get you know that emotionally involved in it? So people, they, I mean, people just want a different game. I understand yeah. that just like with the All Pro 2K8, you know what I mean? I understand sell. that people, yeah, it didn't and it wasn't that good a game to me either, but you know it was still an alternative. When you didn't feel like messing with Madden and ABS, but I this is like that was just terrible, yo. That Joe Montana fiasco, man, was that was crazy, man. It's like when I saw that, when I saw <laughs> that, I just started busting up laughing. I'm like, all these cats that just got hoodwinked, run amok, bamboozled, you know what I'm saying? Feeling yeah. like, yo, I'm gonna get this Joe Montana when it come out, son. Yeah. On my phone, <laughs> dude. Like, I'm gonna be killing them while I'm on the bus. Right now. Hey, I'm gonna be killing them on the bus, son. <laughs> Better get that MHL cable hooked up to your HD TV. Oh man, that's crazy, man. That is funny. That oh, is yeah. crazy. That was. But good, I didn't. Though. Yeah, so all in all, that's pretty much what I got, man. The most disappointing stuff, definitely no fight oh, wait, night in that Joe about, Montana. What about what Sony, you got? Though? Remember when you was about the Air Sony? I we'll do that. Yeah, we gon' that we gonna say that for for another one. Oh, you know right. what I'm saying? We gonna say that for another one. If not, we can't get up, then I'll do it. You know, myself on my own, you know, on my own demo. But I definitely want to do that with y'all too. But we we'll talk about that later because we've been running long enough. We already an hour and a half into it. So. Oh yeah. And that's yeah. if, so. If that's the case, you know what I'm saying. As you all know, this will be on my channel, and it'll be on Tick's channel. Hey man, I'm so, guaranteeing that. <laughs> so it more like it. It's gonna be on my channel and on Tick's channel. So everybody's channel description will be, you know, in the in the description. Channel information will be in the description box, so you'll know where to find everybody. Social links, all that other good shit. So, with that being said, Mr. Merck. Mm-hmm. What you got in closing, man? <sighs> Activision, you're the devil. Forty dollars is too much for damn Destiny <laughs> DLC. Man, that's <laughs> fucked up, yo. Cause what's crazy about it, we talking all this shit and we gonna get that shit anyway, man. Hell yeah. I gotta have I gotta have I gotta have my Titan catch on fire. I'm sorry. We some fiends for for new weapons and new gear, yo. It's just that shit be calling me, son. That shit be calling me. I be trying to kick, man, but it just be calling me. Oh, oh man. man. So, alright, well, Activision is the devil. You heard it here first. Uh Tick, what you got, man? Uh Chicken baby, chicken baby. Ooh, <laughs> ah, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hey, but no, nah, that E3, yo, out of all the E3s I watched the last like two two years, yo, I would definitely say this one was one of the best ones. Um, definitely because of that Shen Moon news, definitely. I agree. <laughs> and, I agree. And then, you know, Microsoft came with they came with that fire with the Backwards compatibility and took shots at Sony because they definitely didn't sell on our consoles. We won't charge you to play your games <laughs> that you already own. I was like, oh man, no Shot man. Fire. Shots bang, fire. Bang bang. Bang bang. Um, hey, yo, it was something else that was announced too, but it wasn't only three. It was more in the tweets. But uh, Tony Hawk did tweet and he showed a picture of Tony Hawk Pro Skater Five. Mm. It showed that, and he was like, "This is the box cover, and it is confirmed." So well, I, I, feel like I, take, I say this: I, I believe Tony Hawk before I believe anything Joe Montana say or does. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that's more credible. I mean, that shit ain't gonna be going to the, uh, you know, going to the Kindle fires and shit like that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You be playing Joe Montana on your Kindle. <laughs> That's funny. Oh shit, mom! When you finish reading your book, I wanna, I wanna play Joe Montana. <laughs> <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here, man! That game gonna be on audio books. <laughs> oh man! All right, my in closing for me, all I'm gonna say is, Shinmu Three came through in the club. Right. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Shinmu Horizon. Um, 
What the fuck was that racing game, yo? Need for speed. Need for speed. Need for speed. Need for speed. Yo forgot. Yeah, yeah, I know. And whatever. <laughs> it don't matter. That was it. Gears. So that Uncharted. was pretty much yeah. Gears, oh. Uncharted. It was some good games, man. I agree with Tick when he when he said that uh this was probably the best one in the past two years. I mean, a lot of these games won't come out till next year, some probably later, but at least we got to see what's in the what's in the works. And fall like fuck you ea for not coming out with no fight night not even announcing nothing no effort you lazy bastards y'all too worried about fucking star wars and mirror's edge but not fight night fuck y'all and um once again joe montana yo it's just face palm city for that shit yo <laughs> I, I feel bad for the football people yo i really do <laughs> so on that note man i'm done i'm done yo we enjoyed I I enjoy doing this stuff with y'all, man. If y'all enjoy this, man, let us know. We'll do more of these. Of course, they'll be shorter, but it was a lot of stuff to cram. It was kind of like trying to trying to put ten pounds of shit in a five pound bag. So I think we did okay. If y'all like it, we'll do this again. We'll make it regular. We'll come up with a name for it and all of that good old stuff. So on that note, I'm out you here. Everybody, be safe, be easy. Thank y'all for tuning in. We out. Hey. Stuart, my mate. Yeah, that was good. Yeah.